Hey everybody, this is Brian from Gaming Experience, and welcome back to Earthbound. Now, if I remember correctly, when we last left off, I had just finished getting the giant step sound piece, and uh, for some reason the cops got mad at me and told me to go visit them. I'm just gonna double check my status first, see if I'm good to go. Alrighty, let's get this going on. <clears throat> Who knows what'll await me there? Maybe they'll give me a medal of commendation! Or they'll let me go through and leave the city, because I remember that they were blocking the exit. I guess they were over here, weren't they? Yeah, yeah, they were over here. Okay, so closed, can't just squeeze the roadblocks either. One of his famous, famous roadblocks. The road to Tucson is closed, you can't just squeeze the roadblocks either. One of his famous for roadblocks. Why would you be famous for stopping methods of egress your town? Okay. So, here you are. You're the little delinquent that came back from Giant Step. Now you listen here. Don't enter means just that. Do not enter. You got that? And furthermore, blah blah, blah blah. It's usually those tax evaders who... Blah blah, blah blah. I don't enjoy blocking off roads, you know. Blah blah, blah blah. It's usually the local whiners that make big deals about emergencies and meteorites. Blah blah, blah blah. Blah, blah. I didn't add that in on my own. He actually said blah blah. You saw that yourself, so okay. <laughs> I would rather be working as a parking meter cop. Just been too busy lately. I'm sick of it. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm Steve. Don't even try talking to me. Why is the road to Tucson closed? An emergency, of course. Oh, so this kids should be playing Nintendo games. Uh, okay. Wait, are you sure you want to go to Tucson? Yes. Okay, Charlie, follow me. Wait, no, I said that wrong. Okay, <laughs> follow me. <laughs> that guy doesn't look sketchy at all. <laughs> Show me what you got. See so if you can get past five of my best men. I'm sorry, what? Yeah! Hey, small fry, you must be shaking your new boots. Why am I making them all accented? The cop attacked. Smack him. Ouch. His smash is worth my regular hits. I turned the cop back to normal. Because I will agree with them there. Smacking around a kid is definitely not normal. Hmm. You're tough, you should join the police force. <clears throat> Ravage policeman is stronger than any superhero. This is all boss level fights, apparently, according to this. Gah! Ah, 10 HP. Gah! Back to normal with you. Get out of here, you yuts. 86 HP. Woo! Oh no, you won. Don't let the man's compliments give you a big head. Bring it on, fat boy. That's just mean. You're not too skinny yourself, asshole, with a crushing chop. Did you just, like, karate chop at me? What kind of an asshole are you? Alright. <laughs> We're gonna have to do this the hard way. Get you, sure do. I don't need that to normal. He just tried to, like... I do this again sometime. Let's not. Next time I'll take out my nuclear suplex attack. Dude, you've been watching way too many action movies. Go home. Come on, I'm gonna take you by right here, right now, baby. This is police abuse, isn't it? Or whatever it is, police brutality? I mean, sure, I'm beating the crap out of them, but they're all ganging up on... What am I, ten? It's a bit much. Not that this doesn't happen in the real world. At least, it shouldn't if it does. I don't know. I don't really keep track of that stuff. Oh no, I have too much stuff. What do I throw away? Do I have a cookie? I have a cookie. Bye, cookie. I don't need a cookie. I have hamburgers. 
I have two burgers. That was a Pink Panther reference. I don't know why. Was it Pink Panther? I think it was. Ah, good. I lost. <laughs> That's it, buddy. You can forget about me. I'm going to call for my boss. He's gone. There's no way to beat you in a straight competition, so get ready for my ultra, super ultra man, mambo tango fox truck monster. Sumptive? Ma? Captain Strong. I wonder if he's that strong. Oh, you're on guard. That's cute. Bye, attacks. Ow, that must have hurt, Captain. Oh no, your temper runs down. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, that actually did less damage. What the hell? Oh no, oh no, your defense went up by one. Oh no, I'm using psychic powers to kill you. Yay! Was defeated. He didn't turn back to normal. So he's normally like this? I think you would do so well against the mighty on it police force. You don't know what we're Hang on for a sec, I'll radio my staff and give them a word. Beep, beep, click, rrr, click. Strong here, did you read me? Hey! It's me, Captain Strong. Okay, listen. A na kid named Brian will be there in a few minutes. He's a kid in a red cap. I want you to let him open the road to Tucson for him. I know that. I know that! Don't ask me why, just do it! That's an order! Strong out. Well, kid, I'm not gonna question you now. But I do want to see you again. Good luck! Uh. And I'm pretty sure my dad just paid me money for defeating them. I just got money for beating up cops. I don't know how comfortable I am with this, even if it's a video game. <laughs> Psst, I'm not really one of the gang. I'm a cop, even if I don't look like it. Neat. Hey, I'm in here. Go and buy another can. Ha, this is joking. This is a jail. You guys have no business being here. Oops, there goes my headphones. Hang on a sec. My ear was slightly itchy. I forgot I'd kill two birds with one stone, but no, I had to just throw it everywhere. <sighs> Who are you asking about a driver's license? You're way too young to even think about giving a wheel, you little pest. <laughs> wow, he's still super aggressive. All right, so we're, now I can move on to parking enforcement. Hooray, life is good. Dum dee dum dee. Hmm. Must be nice to be her. Getting the easy jobs. I'm gonna go take a nap in the hotel and see how much my dad gave me for money, because. I just beat up a bunch of cops. I better get paid for it, I guess. Right, pick the receiver. Let's call Dad. <clears throat> Yay, 231. I got $231 for beating up five cops. I'm not quite sure how that math works out, because that's an odd number for sure. What times five gives you a one? Hmm. That is really weird. Okay, let's just take out 35 bucks to get all that stuff dealt with. Yeah, I have over a grand. Man, I wish it was this easy to make money. Let's go beat up some teenagers and make like a cool grand or so. Take a whole afternoon, make some money. Not like they don't respawn. Just beat them senseless, wait for them to get back up, do it again, keep getting money. That would be a very violent world to live in. Brian? Brian? Brian! I'm sorry. I, I just finished binging Archer because I just recently found out that a new season is coming out. And, well, I kind of love the crap out of that show, so I'm super excited. Friend you've never met before? My name is Holly. Oh, hey, Holly! Can you hear me calling you? I am Holly. Yes, yes, I can hear you, but I can't respond because I'm asleep. Just... Holly! Help me. I'm assuming she's calling for help, because you know what? Nobody ever really contacts you unless they need help in your dreams and stuff. What does it say? Here's a recopy of the morning newspaper. Headlines are... This is sometimes to have a real crooked real estate agents. Uh, uh, sell all that property for rock bottom prices. Of five times what the market value is. 
how oddly poignant, though, because the whole house flipping thing that's apparently going down hill severely because of the new tax law going into place in Canada, I think. I'm only tertiary hearing about that. Drew, take care of yourself. Cool, thanks, man. There's a oh, cool house. Shit's running away from me. Come here. Come here. Come here. This is funny. Come here. Yee. Yeah. Oh, God. Friends. That's because they're black antoids. Okay. Ow. Yeah. Let's see. What's in this house? I can open it. Yay. The front free and his mouse's house. The mice are nose eggs are nice. They're very kind and boy are they fast. Where are these guys? I know what these guys are good for. Okay. What is Fredwell Heal? I'm gonna eat it. Yum 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 yum. <clears throat> so like me look like a regular, but this one must be leaking eggs and lost to me, so you take it once so long. So why he can take I got an exit mouse. Cool. That's gonna help me later if I ever get stuck lost in a dungeon somewhere and go like, I don't know what to do, I'm almost dead. Uh teleport. <laughs> That's handy. Smack him. Sorry, I'm just jamming out to the music. Not the mushrooms. Oh god, I remember these guys. They can give you a status effect that makes you walk wrong, and I believe it makes you unable to use any of your side attacks. I could be wrong. Oh cool, I beat it up and it stopped moving. Yes, inanimate objects or things that shouldn't be animate, when you defeat them, they stop moving, like, say, garbage bins. But if you're not careful, and you get the status effect, you get kind of screwed until you can go to a hospital. You need to go to a hospital for that status. You need to go to a hospital with any status effect that you can't just get rid of with, like, medicine. <laughs> Mostly because that's just how this game works, just sleeping it off doesn't, it's not a thing. <clears throat> just like if anybody dies in the party, you actually have to go to a, oh, ketchup packet. Yes? Okay, let's wait for the ketchup packet. Uh, nothing. I'll leave it behind this time, yeah. Oh, cool! Level up! 14! Oh, yeah! Offense bump for one. one. Paralysis. That's gonna be handy later. I got kinda screwed on that level up, though. Very little in the way of power up. Boo! Oh, Jesus! Two of them. That's not good for me. And use Psy power before it gets taken away from me. Ow. Pew 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 pew! Yeah! Took him two down. Yeah! So the goal for this video is to get to Tucson in one piece, and depending on how quickly I do that, maybe get some shenanigans done. But if I'm right... Am I already in Tucson? I'm mean, just a friendly wall, I'll tell you how to distinguish between your friends and enemies. Basis for work, however, you take it. You avoid your enemies. <clears throat> okay, so. She is an enemy! Oh my god, no! <laughs> Welcome, would you like me to tell you about Tucson? Yes, Tucson has a modern clean hotel, a hospital, a wonderful chaos theater. Plus, our preschool and a nice bus station. If you're curious, you might want to check out Berlin, Berlin Park. Exciting! East Italian by the Peaceful Rust Valley. On the other side of the valley is Happy Happy Village. There's also a pizza parlor. I don't know anything else. Well, Tiki, I don't know anything else. 
Aren't you helpful? Okay, the hotel's there. Cycle trap's there. Hey, bro. What you're taking into taste. I'm a photographic genius, but who say so myself? Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say, fuzzy pickles! Wow, what a great photograph. I know I did a full, full weeaboo thing. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Always bring back the fondest memories. I never did figure out what the hell he was taking all those pictures for. I assume it's something actually apartment store. Useful. Let's see what kind of shenanigans I can get up to in here. Because I want to get up to shenanigans in here. From here? No, I want to eat a burger. Get my health up and have space to buy stuff. Yay! Which I might just take out all my money to be on the safe side to take the whole thing. Oh no, 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 no. Don't worry, I'll put it all back in after I do it, take it all out. So it's not gonna be a big deal. <clears throat> Up I go. Nothing bad happens in here yet, if I recall correctly. I know one of the department stores, after you get somebody, your life just goes straight to shit. It's not a good day. Up I go. Slow moving. Okay. Ah, here we go. Shop. Hi! Can I help you? What are you looking to buy? I'm running teddy bear. I don't need the teddy bear just yet, but the teddy bear is a useful thing. Uh, what a loser. I don't give a shit. Uh, can I get anything? T-ball bat, fry pan, slingshot, cheap base. Okay, I don't have anything I can use just yet. The slingshot is better for me for right now, but it also does not have any chance of critting. So it's kind of a wash as to whether or not it's useful at all, so I'll just pass on all that. So I will buy the teddy bear then. The teddy bear is useful because it will actually soak damage for me. In so far that if I take the if I'm out the teddy bear with me, it'll take hits for me until it takes enough damage to break and then it's obviously destroyed. That's really helpful. Now I can just dump everything I have back in there. Pause it, because I really don't want to be wandering around with all my money and wind up losing it all be set back horrifically and have to do a lot of grinding. That would suck. And you guys don't want to watch that. So I wouldn't even make you watch that even if I did script that bad. Yeah! Let's see here though. Uh, walking truck! Oh god! My face is like adamantium. I just took that truck to the face like a boss. That's right, we're the runaway file, we're popular but not rich. The achievements seem really deep and dead. Oh, that's gotta suck for you guys. Sorry, bye! Let's go on this door. <clears throat> hint guy, I've all passed. I don't need a hint right yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Such a peaceful town. Oh cool, there's like a little town thingy here. That's nice. <laughs> this guy. This guy, if you buy eggs from him and spend a bit of time running around with them, they'll actually patch into chicks, chicks and you can sell them back for a lot more money. I don't need to worry about money just yet though, so I'm not too worried about that. My nose is itchy though and that drives me crazy. Oh. Well, haha, why don't we have a chat after you locked horns? Thanks, bro. Everdread. Come here, Everdread. Fighting attack. Ow. Why'd you bite me, dude? What the hell? Smack! You crazy bastard. Ow! Ow! Trying to heal. Ow! Oh, that hit the teddy bear. That's good. 
Yeah, so you better turn back to normal, you PR. Jeez. Almost a thousand experience. I'm okay with beating him up. Yes, I'm ever drive boss at Burgerland Park. When I jumped off the roof, I twisted my ankle. Anyway, I lost and nothing will change that. You know, you're pretty strong. I know you want to find out about a girl named Holly. She went off to a secret hideout in a peaceful rest valley. She boy and a weird guy in a blue outfit have kidnapped her though. Oh, great. So they're going to make Holly into some sort of human sacrifice. Uh, they're definitely hard for strange. No kidding. She might be gone already. You better hurry. If you save Holly, be sure to come back, okay? Don't forget it. You, sir, weird man. <sighs> dog. That dog came right for my face. Holy crap. Oh, it's gonna be one of those fights, huh? Oh, one HP. Ah, oh, that was an easy fight. Why didn't I just auto win that? Okay. You good dog? There was a kidnapping, believe me, even though I'm just a dog. Woof. Alright. I need some money. Holy crap, truck! Jeez, why are all these trucks trying to hit me? I'm just walking through the middle of the street like an asshole. Got it. I understand why now. Take a uh, couple, three hundred dollars. Okay, look, what can I get done? What can I get done? This yawning thing needs to stop right now. I'm not even tired. Hell, I freaking had some coffee before I even started this. So, again, shouldn't I be tired at all? What's up here? There's the hospital. There's a house, there's another house, there's a taxi coming from bloody nowhere, literally, okay. Where'd you come from? Freaking weirdo. Let's just go do a home invasion, nothing serious. Hey buddy, how's it going? Home down, let's go happy happy village. They want to be with the founder of religion there. Oh goody, we get to do the best thing of all JRPG is go step on a religion's throat. I don't know what is up with that, but nine times out of ten in a JRPG, religion equals bad. This time it sounds like it's a cult, though, so... New religion is bad. No, like, the Heaven's Gate things. Uh, you know, two young Avengers live in this town and want to invent something, too. Okay. Exploring a little bit, learning about this town and its strange, strange ways. Well, as long as I can keep walking in a straight friggin' line. Jeez. It's bad enough I can walk diagonally easily, fine, but I can't walk straight up or down without going side to side. Man, I've got a problem. Soft fresh eggs, they're nutritious. Please buy this beautiful gift bag, please. No. If they're 10, 10 years old, at least one egg. Please buy this beautiful egg, please. No. Okay, but if 15 years of your you could buy an egg. Well, you're a pushy son of a bitch, aren't you? Mm. I'm not gonna worry about that just yet. I assume that for sale sign lets me sell items just randomly wherever I am, which would be very helpful, but I don't. I need to worry about that. Yeah, yeah. Orange kid. Okay. Apple kid. Why does it seem to me like it's literal apples and oranges might even be a shot at the Apple company? I'm gonna go to orange because I'm not a huge fan of apples. Sorry guys. Things at Orange Kid, the inventor. Have you heard of me? I'm a bit embarrassed about my reputation. I have a lot of inventions in development, but I'm running short of cash. I'm basically a happy-go-lucky person, so I'm not worried. I'm working on this machine. I'd really help you in peace with West Valley. I'm going to ready soon. What? If you want to help finance the project? Sure! Are you kidding? $200? Yeah, what the hell not? Thank you very much. Super Orange Machine. Oh, it's Super Ma for short. Uh huh. You have too many items. I'll help you accept Super Ma. I'm going to toss some food. Sure, why not? <clears throat> I'll just eat it. Yum, yum, yum. Super Arma. Let's see. 
Alright, Orange Machine Invention. The full name is Super Orange Machine. Alright. Let's visit Apple Kid. See what he has like. Oh, your house looks like shit. Oh, it's gonna be a name yet. Okay. Your trash can. There's a broke machine inside. Not too much stuff already. Cool. Uh, I'm sort of neglected to do my housework. You had to pick stab, but anyway, I'm Apple Kid. I haven't taken a bath quite well, so I'm gonna be kinda stinky. <laughs> this is such a shot on there. We eat, we do like have uh, some. Sure, I'll give you a hamburger, Brody. Whatever. I hate to see somebody starving. Very nice. Uh, I wonder if I can invest in any of my inventions? Sure. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, it gives me, I mean, thank you. By the way, I could really use $200. I only have 100 sorry. Uh, you can stop down anytime. He's very accommodating. Maybe I will invest in him. I mean, he's not shy about having to beg for food, at least. <coughs> what? What? I, I don't check my. I don't think he's alright. Set. So I'm probably gonna want to pick up some stuff or drop off some of the things, whatever. Maybe do an escargo drop off or pick up, pick up, because I have extra shit in my inventory right now. <laughs> Screw your traffic laws! Ah ha ha! Oh, there actually is a crosswalk there. Huh, how about that? Sound music is so peaceful, I like it. Makes you sound feel like you're in an actual like nice town for once. Sure, yes, yes, yes. Oh, excuse me, I mean thank you. I could really use two hundred dollars. Sure, thank you, I won't let you down. Oh. That was helpful. Oh. Don't give me a name yet. Take care of my master, I'm return, I want to give you this. Please take it and say nothing. Receiver phone. I can get phone calls now. Right? Apple Goods Invention. Now you can receive important calls. Can I use it? Thought so. So I can get random phone calls now. That's handy, I guess. I guess the phone will randomly call me if they think I need to save or whatever. Which is handy. Very nice. So where am I going to next? From here. From the east, you can run into trouble. Peace Rust Valley. I'm happy to have a villager waiting for you. UFOs in the Peace Rust Valley. UFOs! Spooky! Talk to this guy. Here's a girl named Holly was kidnapped while helping out. All Star Preschool. Hmm. Let's go to the All Star Preschool! Well, that sounds very inappropriate, calling it a pole star preschool, now that I think about it. Look at mock pizza. We don't sell pizza here, we only deliver. Let me give you our number so you can place an order sometime. My sweet is mock pizza. Number is... It's 12 numbers there, but I don't think that really works out fine. You got that? I guess with a two-digit area code? Like, long-distance number? I don't know. I'm just gonna roll with it, bud. Okay, let's go in here. I want to play with Holly, but she's gone somewhere. No. Well, it's like a mother to me. You may not be able to comprehend my emotions. I might have a baby face, but I possess the mind of an adult. I beg your pardon. Bro. That's the whistle anywhere. It always makes you smile. It makes you smile all the while. I'm Holly's mother. I'm busy taking care of these kids. You shouldn't worry about Holly. She has a guardian angel, it seems. Right. When I grow up, I want to be just like Holly. Kidnapped and sacrificed in a cult worship segment? <laughs> so, you want to see Holly? Many come here to see her miraculous powers, but they're just leeches, so. Or TV station or what? No. To meet you or not meet you can only be decided by Holly. Holly said that she would only meet by the boy named Brian. See your Brian! I didn't say anything, but okay, do I have a name tag on? Like, seriously. It almost was on Holly's dream. You'll save the world. Let me go call Holly. Wasn't she kidnapped? 
She doesn't seem to be here. I wonder where she went. I'm sorry. Could you come back later? Why don't you just go upstairs anyway and do a little bit of... Your beds are at the top of the stairs and you're not even in a real bedroom. What's in here? Teddy bear. I reckon teddy bear. It's all good. So that is one of the weirdest things. Why? Why? I don't... I don't know. I'm out of here. They'd rather sleep in the hallway on the top of the stairs and Brooke as, I guess, guards for their own daughter so she can't even go pee in all night. And I have yet to see a bathroom in this game, by the way. Instead of having a second room installed, I guess. Sure, it would have a narrow like hallway to the other room there, but that'll at least be two rooms. I have done way too much interior design and stuff like that with Minecraft and many other games, as well as school, but so I do think about this stuff periodically. I do a brain good, yes. Whatever status. I will go and get out the fucking way, boy. I think I'll go rest at the hotel. Oh god! Crazy lady! Okay, my bad. Cranky lady, but she looks like something out of a Victorian era with her neck puff. Crap. Hold it sharply. Stop trying to cuss me out. Jeez! That's what you better turn back to normal, you crazy lady. Cranky lady. I'm sorry, cranky lady. Psychotic woman. Keep her away! store again. It's not the hotel's almost there. Wow, that almost hit that guy. Let's check out the cycle shop anyway, just to be honest, just to check it out. I'm curious. This is a cycle shop punk, sure. Bicycles are so much fun and so convenient. It's a lot faster than walking. You'd be really popular with the biking crowd. Do you want a bicycle? Sure. Looks like we don't have bike more bikes now. We only have rentals. You want to rent one? I really like your straightforward style. I'll tell you what. I'm back for free. You have too many items. Why don't you go rid of something? Come back. I know you want it now, but my hands are tied. Alright, uh, yeah, yeah, why not? I'll do it. <clears throat> butterfly, 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 butterfly! Yay! I feel so relaxed. <sighs> wow, I don't even need to rest at the hotel anymore. That's awesome news. I'll make a couple phone calls, though. Do an escargo express. Is that you, Big Bro? Are you Tracy? I'm working part time for escargo express. I'm going to Let's do a pickup. Yeah. I'll just go outside. There he is. Uh, uh, Ollie, where are you? It's time for a yummy piece of pie. Never mind. That's her dad. Okay. There we are. Hello, this is Escargo Express. Your delivery charge is $18. Can you cover, you can cover the bill, right? Yes. Do you want me to take? I can take up to three things. I'll give you the cold remedy. Yeah. Do you want me to take? Skip sandwich? Skip sandwich? Will be there anything else? What do you want me to take? I don't really need that right now, do I? Town map? So we confirm your request. You want me to take the colder me and the skip sandwich and the town map? Is this correct? Alright, certainly. Thanks a lot. I don't know why, but he just reminded me of like that almost creepy pencil neck pencil mustache guy. Uh, I like him, but he's also kind of weird in his own way. Okay guys, we've gotten not a hell of a lot done this episode, but we did get a bunch of leads as to what we want to do next. We got to Tucson, that's good news. We avoided the Mushrooms of Doom, also very good news. And we found out that a girl named Holly is psychic enough to contact us in her sleep and expecting us to answer. Mm -hmm. 
and wants us to help her, and apparently she's been kidnapped by some crazy guys in blue getups way out in the peaceful Breast Valley or somewhere around there. Happy, happy village, I think they said? I don't know. But, uh, we have our goal for the next video. The next video is we're gonna get there, to one of those two areas, and do our shenanigans there, and then if Holly's there, we're gonna save her! Yay! From crazy... cultists, I guess? I don't know. Either way, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you want to say anything, please leave a comment. If you haven't liked, please do subscribe. We've got lots of cool stuff coming out for you. I just finished writing a song not too long ago. Now we're just working on the music itself to it. And then hopefully we'll have a video soon. So that said, guys, I'll catch you on the flip side. Later.